Hey guys, and welcome to Porsche Center, Oskid and Bærum. This is where I bought my Cross Turismo. Well, about two and a half years ago, I ordered a car and I got it delivered about two years ago. And we are here today because I may be buying a new electric Porsche. But today's big question is, should I go for a Taycan that they already have in stock? We're talking about the pre-facelifted version or should I go for a Macan? That's what we're gonna find out in today's video. We're gonna test drive a Porsche Taycan Turbo, and then we're gonna spec a Macan Turbo, and then I may be gonna make a decision of which car I want to buy today, if any at all. But we are here, and this is a beautiful dealership. You can see behind me here, they have a few 911s. They have a Cayenne Turbo, which is just an insane spec. Here we have a 718 Boxster. This is the GTS, and they have 911s. And then they have this beautiful Taycan Sport Turismo Turbo in crayon. I just love this spec. So when you get the turbo version, it comes with the Porsche design front bumper, side skirts, and also rear bumper. And I love this crayon color. It is just beautiful with these black glossy painted wheels. This is still one of my absolute favorite cars. I think it just looks beautiful. And check out the details here with the painted details. And it also, if you come around back here, it has a rear carbon spoiler or diffuser on the bumper. I just think this thing looks spectacular it is a really really beautiful spec and then let's take a look at the interior i already have a tycon cross turismo so going for something like this is going to be well very similar to what i have but i mean come on it is such a beautiful spec but yeah it's such a beautiful spec take a look at this it has an illuminated side sill here with the tycon turbo badging it has beautiful leather upgraded interior and it's just the overall beautiful spec. If you come a little bit closer here, you can see that this has also the race techs roof, panoramic sunroof, and also in the headrest there, you're gonna have a turbo logo that is really, really cool. And this also has the crayon seat belts to complement the, the exterior color like I have on mine. Yeah, so this is a turbo. We're gonna drive a turbo because if I'm going to get a Macan, I want something that is quicker than my current Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo 4, which is what I have. The reason I didn't go for anything, you know, faster when I bought my car is because there were no allocations that year for anything other than Cross Turismo 4s. I really wanted a 4S when I ordered my car because before that, if you guys are new here, I had an Audi e-tron GT, which is what the 4S basically is. So. I'm really excited about one of these. And I think if you go for a car that they have in stock like this, this is only my thoughts and my opinion. Um, but I think if you were to walk into a Porsche dealer now, and then they have a beautiful spec like this in stock, and come take a look at this, I'm gonna show you guys. Because I think you can get a good discount. That's just my opinion, but I think you can get a, disc a discount if you walk into the dealer and you're ready to buy. Because if you come around here, this car is more than 2 million kroners. It's almost 2.1 million kroners, but I think if you walk in, you're ready to purchase a car like this, I think you can get a substantial discount. So if you're looking at a car, at a Taycan, and you don't mind, you know, getting the old car, the pre-facelifted version, I think if you come here, for example, you talk to the guys, possibly. That's just my opinion, but you may be able to get a deal. So I, I think you can do that, but that's again, my opinion. So let's take a Taycan Turbo out on the road and see, do I really need this much power? Okay, we are now in a Taycan Sport Turismo Turbo. So this is the car that belongs to the sales manager here, Daniel which is the guy I bought my car from a few years ago. And this specific car is actually for sale. So if you guys are looking for a Taycan Cross Turismo, they have the one in there, if I don't end up buying that one, or they have this one. This has uh, 32,000 kilometers on the clock. So this is, this is a used car. And it is a beautiful spec with the upgraded leather interior. It has leather on the door sills and also it has uh, contrast yellow stitching. 
So the turbo, I want to test drive this car because I'm wondering if I go for Macan, is the four enough or should I go for a Macan turbo? And I'm pretty sure I could get the car in there I was talking about for about the same price as a brand new Macan turbo, but then I can get it right away and I don't have to wait maybe like half a year. So that is something to consider, but oh, there's such a long time since I've driven my own Taycan <laughs> Cross Turismo and I've really missed the Taycan. It is truly one of the best cars I've ever driven and especially owned. So this does zero to 100 kilometers an hour in like 3.2 seconds or 3.3, something insane like there, 3.1. So let's put it into sport mode, sport plus, and then we get this sport, Porsche sports sound and just, just put it to the floor. Yeah, that was, uh, it goes, it's fast. It's fast, and this is very interesting because you can look at zero to 100 kilometers an hour times, and I think this is like 3.1 or 3.2 or 3.3, and I've just had a Volvo EX30 twin performance on loan for about a week and a half, and that does zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.6 seconds. And you may be thinking, yeah, that half a second isn't much. But zero to 100 kilometers an hour time is one thing. Another thing is the actual power of the car. So this is about two, 300 kilos more heavy than that EX30, but this has 680 horsepower versus the 428 of that car. So zero to 100 kilometers an hour times don't always tell the whole story because we're cruising at 80 kilometers an hour here. And then I put the pedal to the metal and it just gives you a kick in the back like nothing else. It is insanely quick, this car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a little bit easy because uh, my passenger, she may get sick, but <laughs> it just gives you a kick. Oh, this is such an awesome car. This is such an awesome car. I think we have to go around here and turn around. And that way this just thing grips. I don't know, I'm, I love the Taycan. I just love the Taycan. This being the Sport Turismo, shit. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, this is fast. This is fast. And then on this on-ramp here, I, we wanna do a launch. Okay. And then launch mode, there we go. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Whew. I mean, it just, it rearranges your brain. It's, it's almost too fast, this thing here. Now that was an insane ride. I've forgotten how quick the Taycan Turbo is. And it's insane to think that there's a Turbo S above this and then a Turbo GT now that's even quicker. I mean, I think this is right there where it's almost too quick. And guys, you may be thinking, Chris, you live in Norway. The speed limit is only 110 kilometers an hour. Why do you need a fast car like this? Well, first off, I don't need it, but I want it. And secondly, having all of this power is really practical in Norway for passing when I go home often, several times a year, from Oslo to Bergen, which are two lane country roads. You want a lot of power to pass quickly, which is safer. But the big reason I want a car of this caliber is because I've been driving a lot of quick cars lately and I just have a little bit of an itch for something fast again. And also, I travel to Germany several times a year and I wanna take one of these cars on a road trip to Germany again. And this having a top speed of 250 to 260 kilometers an hour, it is one of the quickest electric cars out there. Let's spec a Macan Turbo then, yeah. Daniel. So this is Daniel, he's the sales manager here. And as I said, when we were out driving the Taycan Sport Turismo Turbo, yes. that's for sale, right? So yes, that's true. I'm gonna put your contact information down below in the box. So if yeah. anybody's looking for a Porsche, it could be a Taycan, a 911, a Macan. You guys have a really huge selection of cars now. Yeah, we have. 
and the sport uh, tourism we were out and driving was uh, pretty nice. Yeah, it was yeah. it was really nice. And you I liked thought, it? Yeah, I, I really liked it. <laughs> so we're going to spec one of these now, but that sport tourism we have there in Crayon is also yeah, something I'm lusting yeah. for. It is a really, really cool spec. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, so let's spec a Macan Turbo. So a Macan Turbo is only a little bit slower than the Sport, the Sport Turismo now of yep. the last generation, right? Yes, that's true. Okay, okay, so let's do the exterior. Yeah, let's start with the color um, outside color. first. Yeah, I think I want to go uh, ice gray metallic. Ice gray? Yes. Let's just ice gray. Mm -hmm. And then I want to go for those wheels right there, one down. Yeah, okay. exclusive. Uh, yes. You want to have these in a special color? Or yeah, anything? I want them in the same color as the car. I think that's a really cool spec. So the ice gray metallic, I'm going to overlay some footage now of a Taycan Sport Turismo or Cross Turismo in that color because the photo here doesn't do it justice because in real life it's a really beautiful color, right? Yep. It is. Okay, okay. so I want to go for the extended, so utvidet chin interior in black. Yeah. This one? Yes. So that may look a little bit boring, guys, but we're going to get to a little bit later in the configuration because we're going to do something a little bit fun. And then logos. Yeah. So I want to go for the side logo turbo in black, if that's possible. So there we got this on the side panel here. Exactly, but I want to change the side panel color also. I mean, this is the fun of a Porsche, right? You get to sit in this room with all the, you know, all the special details cool. around here and you can do anything you want. Yeah. I mean, once you go the Porsche route, this is going to be my second new Porsche. Yeah. Once you go to Porsche, you can't go to any other manufacturers. No, it's that's just, true. It's just, it's just boring and lacking. Okay. So side blades uh, painted in exterior Farga. The configuration is the configurator is in Norwegian. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, that's looking really nice. Side panels here yeah. also painted in the color of the same color as the car. I mean that 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 on the road. Yeah. I think that's a really nice spec. Let me show you a new picture here now. Yeah, look yeah. at that! Look at that, guys. So we're there. And then I think the last thing for the exterior is the mirrors, mm, also yeah. in the same color. But you could also do in carbon, right? Yeah. Mm. Could also be in carbon, and you, it will look like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is because you also have the black front on the side panels here downstairs. Okay, I know. I I don't. I, let's just wait for that. Let's try to spec a car because you know we can spec a car now, and if I order one, I can do a few changes, right? For yeah. maybe maybe a few months because. Because this is the turbo, the wait time is much longer than... Uh, yeah, it is, four, it right? is, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do the black the, the, uh, exterior color, uh, one down. Mm -hmm. This one, thank you. So I want to do something a little bit maybe you're not a fan of, and maybe it's not <laughs> the best for resale value, but I want to go no panel roof yeah. and no roof rails. Yeah. Because I just think it looks better. Yeah. It's, There's uh, something about, in my opinion, the way that I've been sitting so many hours at home mm. with the configurator yeah. and I'm like, I know for resale value, I probably want the uh, roof rails yeah. and I probably want the panel roof, right? Yes. Because I just love the way it looks like. It's, I, I understand like the sentiment of bu buying a car that's practical. If you take a look here, Luis. It is pretty clean. Yeah, it's so clean. I, I think it's just going to, on the road, it's just going to look so clean. And also I'm saving a whole bunch of money, right? <laughs> <laughs> not, not going for those options. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. we drop that. Drop that. Goes down to Porsche Electric Sound. Yes, I want the Porsche Electric Sound. And uh, the Sport Chrono. Sport Chrono. And then I don't want the rear wheel steer. So your car had rear wheel steer, right? Yes. And it does. I'm I've had it before on my e-tron GT. I had it a few years ago, but. Mm. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. No. So I'll I'll think I drop I'll drop it. Yeah. Okay. So you know about the matrix lights. Yeah. I'll just keep them standard and clean because I think the car now, if we do, we could do glacial blue would be cool. But I think because the car is ice gray yeah. and black, I think like having the lights like uh, just standard. Yeah. You need to put some some. Yes, color darker, of the glass. Yes, darker glass from the B pillar and back. Yeah. Can I do the heated? windscreen and also the double glass or do you have to choose? No, we can have the double glass and the um, dark windows. 
But can I do the heated front window with the dark glass? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we can try that. Sure. This one, interior list, contrast for Yeah. And then I want to do the speed blue. Yeah. So guys, this is this is the speed blue. So you have black hair. So we're looking at. Oh, this is hard. Okay, but we're looking. <laughs> I'm an amateur. Oh, there we go. There we go. So black seats, black interior, speed blue interior Very cool. details. Very cool. Because we're going to do something else in the interior in this color also. So I'm going to just have yeah. him here. So uh, we can choose that. Yes. So this is the fun with Porsche because look at all the colors they have here. They have black, Bordeaux red, bramble, chalk beige, crayon, guard red, mamba green, night green, orange, speed blue, and truffle brown. I mean, you could go crazy yeah. if, if you want. It's very cool. But I think this is like a cool combo. Yeah, it would be nice. Okay, that's maybe, that's, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so too. But maybe that will crash with the blue, because if you, if you expand the picture now. Yeah. This part here is gonna be this color, right? Yeah. But, it, but the configurator doesn't show it. No. Nope. Okay, but I think that's a cool combo. I think that's a cool combo. And then okay. we have seat belts and seat design. I mean, this is so fun. This is like, it's, you're, you're building your car. <laughs> I mean, this is why Porsches cost a little bit more and all the options are more, but you're gonna get the exact car you want. So I wanna do the Porsche emblems on the front headrests. On the Taycan, the turbo logo is on headrest, right? Yes, yeah, it's So standard. if you go for the Porsche logo, you, you lose the turbo. Yep. But now with this, you can have the turbo and the Porsche. Yeah. It is also uh, possible to have lights in yeah, there. Yeah, you can have yeah. it illuminated. That is insane. Is that worth I mean, it's behind my neck. You know what, Donnell? It's really cool, like, <laughs> here, but I think it's, like, it's behind. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. No. So... I think I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna save the 7,300 kroners. Okay, but then I wanna do this one. Sitte flotte i kontrastfarge. So this is where we're gonna spice up the yeah. interior a yes. little bit more. This, this is the seat inserts, right? On the yes. back and on the, the cushion in mm. this color. Yep. So I think with the, the details on the doors and this, it's gonna look pretty cool. Yeah, okay, we choose that. If, 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 if it was possible to do the whole interior in this color, it will be... I would do it, but <laughs> yeah. I know in a 911 because I, I saw you know I saw on YouTube this this uh, guy this Australian guy who lives in the US or from New Zealand who has this Porsche channel mm -hmm. I think it's called Nick okay and he he test drove a 911 I don't know which maybe it was like a GTS yeah ice gray metallic and this interior color yeah the whole interior yeah. and it was spectacular so. But that's okay. a much more expensive car. That's going to be almost like twice the money if we did that for GTS, right? The 911 for GTS? Yeah, something like that. I yeah. Think. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Do I want to do the seat belts? Because you can't, you can do the seat belts in Arctic blue, right? No, no Arctic blue. No Arctic, you can yeah, do you Arctic, have but this is speed blue. Yeah, maybe it will be a little crash there. Yeah, do you have Arctic blue someplace here? Uh, let me show you here. Because if you look, Louis, on the screen, I don't know. It is kind of cool, right? Yeah, it is. You know what? Much more lighter and maybe a little bit cool. Let's do it. it. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. This is okay. this is the, the one option that maybe I'll have to change. Yeah. Later, but I think I think that would be cool. Yeah, uh, we were also talking about some. Uh... Yeah, I want to do the uh, race techs yeah. steering wheel. Mm -hmm. For night. Uh, yes, let's do that. With the carbon. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So they have a Cayenne over here. We'll show you guys that later. But or just put some B-roll. That carbon steering wheel is pretty awesome. It is, and then now we have one reason more to have the carbon fiber on the <laughs> mirror. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here are some keys, uh, for example, if you want to have some special keys. You know what? I with leather maybe in you can do the exterior color. Yeah. Okay, so I can do ice gray metallic. Yeah. It's now ice gray metallic key. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's mm -hmm. do that. Let's do that. Let's do it ice gray metallic. Yeah. Yeah, let's do race sticks. Yeah. Let's do race sticks. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, so 
you want to have some special color on the leather. But we can do that blue there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, speed blue. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It all ties in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay then maybe chrono. I do the sport chrono and Arctic blue also. Yeah. Now we can show you the sport chrono like this. It's kind of extreme that color. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> in the configuration, we cannot show you the, um, the, seats, yeah. the seats and um, the side panel here. Yeah, so it, we, we exact okay, so I can change that, but let, let's do it for fun. Yeah. Let's do the Sport Krona in that color. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have to change that later. I'll have to, do you think, do you have any uh, Arctic blue color samples anywhere? Yeah, we can take a look at it. Okay, we can take a look at it. Yeah. And also Porsche in a drive, this yeah. one. And then... We need something... Porsche entry. Porsche entry. We need a head-up display. No, I'm no. not a fan of head-up displays. No. I, don't, I don't like them. I always turn them off. And it's very nice with the Porsche here is that you have everything here in, in the front yeah, anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I mean that display is, is pretty awesome. Yeah, but the head-up display is also the agement reality display. Mm -hmm. So it is awesome to, to, to look. Yeah. Here is something what it can do. Yeah. As you see on the screen. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I, I can appreciate it. Um, it's, it's pretty insane. But me personally, I know this is a personal thing. I'm not a fan of head of this place. I find them distracting. So I've always turned them off in most of my cars. I don't want the passenger screen. No. And do I do the Burmester? Let's do the Burmester. Yeah. I think we're pretty done now. Yeah. And then you add some winter wheels. Winter wheels. And then you give me like 200,000 kroners in discount. We're done. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about um, the, the, the tail hook? You need that? Yeah, I probably should do it because of resale. Okay, mm. let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing I could do for resale, the, ta the, the trailer hitch. Yeah. Because I think this car can pull quite a bit, like maybe two tons or something. Yeah, two tons. Two tons, yeah. Mm. That's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, that's very nice. It's yeah, it pretty cool. Very yeah. cool. It's really, really nice. I think that is a beautiful spec. And with the interior details, it's going to be pretty, pretty insane. Yeah. It will be blue here. Yeah. Speed blue, like this. And this looks so dark, but like it's, it's really a really nice color, I think, once you get it out in the light, as you guys can see here. So, okay. So... Let's see guys what I do. Maybe I order one, maybe I don't. I at least had a configuration now. So let's hop to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you the carbon steering wheel in the Cayenne first, but let's hop to the end of the video and I'll tell you guys what I did. Okay guys, we are now done here at Porsche Scented Oskid and Badrum. And as you guys can see in my hand, I have a contract because yes the title of the video is I've ordered a new car but what car have I ordered did I do a Cayenne maybe a 911 GT2 RS no it's an electric car the car I ordered was the Macan I ordered the Macan turbo and yeah it is a really really cool spec and I know the photos and videos don't really do justice and I could go for something like this which was the Taycan Turbo we drove but I want the newest car because I think it's more relevant for the content here on the channel and also the range of the Macan is a lot better than the old Taycan in my opinion. I could go for a Taycan but the Taycan has now become so expensive for the new facelifted version that yeah it's a lot of money and I bought my Taycan 4 Cross Trism a few years ago when the prices were lower and for me it's hard to spend so much more money on basically the same car. I want something else and yeah that's why I ordered a Macan Turbo but delivery times are pretty long on the Turbo. I'm not going to get a car before early 2025 so there's still room for another new car that I'm going to try to get this summer and have maybe for six months until I get this but that will we talked about more in a later video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.